how to check a transistor using the diode check on a DMM. Essentially what the diode check does is it applies about 3 volts through a resistor to the test leads and allows you to measure the voltage drop across the test leads. Uh, a transistor, general transistor, should measure like two diodes tied together at one end. So we're going to start, we have three pins on the transistor. We have the case, which is collector, usually, and then the two pins, which we will identify with using the test lead. So we'll start by put holding the black on the case, and then we'll go from uh, the pin on the left, which we get about a half a volt, to the pin on the right, which is open. So this looks like the pin on the left would be the base, so we'll go between the two pins and we should get about a half a volt. Which we do, we get 0.6. So from holding the black on the case to the pin on the left, which is the base, we get a half a volt. To the pin on the right, which would make that the emitter, we get open. Now between, in either direction, between the emitter and the collector, which is the case, it should be open. We shouldn't have any measurement between these two. Most of the time when a transistor shorts, it'll be between the emitter and the collector, and we would it wind up with zero volts, or very close to it, if we had a short in both directions. So, the other thing we want to check is between the emitter and the base for leakage we should have a half a volt in one direction and essentially it should be open in the other direction now if this was if this is a pnp transistor and we were checking an npn everything would be the same except the leads would be reversed so instead of having the black on the case and the red on the base pin measure a half a volt it would measure a half a volt reversed everything would just be reversed but we should still show nothing between the emitter and collector ever um, this is obviously a silicon transistor if this was a germanium transistor it would measure about point 0.12 to 0.25 volts instead of a half a volt. So it would be about a half uh, of what this is. They're much, much lower voltage. So this is a good transistor and this is how to check a transistor. You should have no, no reverse leakage and you should have no shorts anywhere. It should measure as two diodes.